assalamu alaikum everyone so you can see this is beautiful lovely eyeshadow uh, look that i have created today and then in the next clip you will be seeing all the palettes all the shades everything that i have used and all the techniques and brushes that i have used to create this look and i'm actually loving this and my lip shade is very beautiful um, a beautiful shade from cat pondy everlasting lipstick line its name is love i'm gonna give all the details of the products that i have used in the description box so you can check it out love you all and do subscribe and hit the bell icon and do remember me in your prayers love you all I haven't applied anything only I'm done with the brows because because brows take normally a longer time so I'm gonna go very quickly and the palettes I'm going to use for this style is like these are the two palettes I just one is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette palette and this other one is uh, Fem Rose She Palette from Colourpop. So I'm gonna show you these palettes from inside also. Beautiful, beautiful color range. <laughs> you can see over. This is so, so, so lovely. I love this palette. So I'm gonna do this. Let take little bit of shades from this palette and this palette as well. This is all so very pretty, very rosy, very pinky shade palette. So I'm gonna start very quickly. cleaning of the face now I'm going to prep my eyes with this Bobbi Brown uh, eye primer okay. very little quantity because I'm not going to go over the board very little quantity I've uh, applied uh, Sulma in my eyes before taking shower and this is much I have after shower so I'm done with the prepping of my eyes and now I'm taking a little bit, little bit of the powder or my scooper as I'm just spreading all over my face very quickly because I set it now you can't leave it so I'm not using fingers are the best tool especially when you are in heavy actually I have to quickly finish it so yeah my eyes are prepped So I'm going to take a beautiful subtle uh, shade from this Desert Desk palette which is uh, Musk, you can see this is Musk, I'm going to show you the sort of Musk also, this is very very uh, very very light shade as a sub base. So I'm taking generously this shade and spreading all over my eye, especially in my crease area because I need to create a depth very quickly and then whatever left I'm left with the brush in the brush I'm going to around and then 
size as well. So like this, see? Using the same brush, I'm uh, taking this this shade Eden from the same palette. So whatever I'm doing, like whatever color I'm taking, I'm just spreading and focusing on the crease area and then spreading it all over my underneath my bottle line as well. See, that's how I make uh, depth of crease area and at the same time I'm covering the under under eyes well. So this is the mixture of musk and Eden from this palette. It's very very light and very blendable. So actually I don't want to put a lot of color right now because I'm going okay, I forgot to show you the swatch of Eden. So this is side by side swatch of uh, mask and Eden. I'll show you. This is Musk and this is Eden from Desert Dusk palette. These two uh, colors I've taken so far. So I'm using the same uh, blending brush and quickly cleaning it and using this. There is no name uh, names of the uh, shadows over here. So I'm just randomly selecting these two shades, mixture of these two, and packing them onto the uh, first the outer corner and then bring it inside see like this and then whatever i'm left with the uh, color uh, in the brush i'm just bringing it down so i'm not worried about the fallout because we can clean it we can always easily clean it later on so yeah so i'm gonna swatch these two shades at the back side of my hand so that you will understand how I create the gradients these are the shades which I took from the uh, color pop shadow eyeshadow palette so these are the two shades I don't know the name but these are the two which I took from desert desk palette okay now I am taking a clean fluffy brush a beautiful soft sutra or uh, I'm going to take this shade which is blazing blazing it to very beautiful Coral shade, which is going with my outfit also. So I'm taking generous amount of, and then oh my God, spreading all over my dress. So I'm packing it in the outer corner very quickly, and the same color. So my focus for this uh, coral shade is outer corner. And then whatever is left in the sh uh, brush, it's very fluffy, so I can uh, place it all over the eye. And this is mixing with the previous shades as well. So I'm done with this uh, blazing shade. So I'm going to show you the swatch of blazing. Blazing is this color, and the swatch of this color is. So you can see how gradually I'm creating the gradient of eye shades on my eyes. So the fallout I can clean later on, but so far, see, it's looking so beautiful. So I need to create a beautiful depth of this uh, saffron and amber. So I'm taking both of them. So I'm taking the same blending brush and taking two shades from Desert, Desert Desk palette. One is saffron and the other one is amber saffron is little pinky shade you can say it has little bit um, plum undertone and amber is amber is totally totally orange undertone so i'm taking both of them all together at the same time and packing them uh, on the outer corner see i'm just pressing because isena most of the pigments would be deposited over here okay and then then i'm gonna lift this shade all over my crease area see that's all and then again I'm using the same brush same two shades I'm going to sh show you the sort of these shades as well saffron and amber tap the and then deposit it at the outer corner 
and then when I'm done with the deposition I can spread it all over my under and around the circle as well. See? That's all. So I'm gonna show you the swatch of amber and saffron. So this is amber and this is saffron. This one is amber and this one is saffron. Camera is picking it like a, you can say, camera is picking it like a orange, but it has more plum undertone. So, which is why, uh, which is the thing I was leaving. And now I'm taking again a very pointed dense br brush and I want dark, dark shade, but not beyond these palettes. So, I'm gonna take the color Ford. Ford is a kind of, I think, I don't know. I'm taking old and placing it over here like a liner and I'm just covering the entire eyelid. Not in sorry, not entire eyelid, like the liner. See? Or old sahi mesko niche bi de kar. See? Ab dono eyes ki depth take lay. It's a beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown color with uh, uh, warm undertone. This is my liner. Ki laga rahe. So, once I'm done with this shade, I did not deposit this shade all over my lid. I was just focusing like a liner. Hai? I might skip liner or I might go for a very thin line. Hai? So I'm going to show you the swatch of Oath also. It's a beautiful, beautiful chocolate, chocolate brown color. So this is Oath. These two shades I've taken from this palette and the rest of the shades I took from this palette. So one shade I'm going to take from this palette as well, but in the end, if I will be needing this color. So yeah. So this is how my eyes looks like look like uh, from the clothes. So I'm going to fill this gap also. So I'm using inner corner first. So I'm taking this beautiful shade uh, <laughs> retrograde. Yeah, this is retrograde. It's a very beautiful pink shimmery color. So in very quick way, I'm just creating inner corner. That's it. And again, I'm spreading this little bit inside, uh, like bringing it towards my lid also, a little bit. I'm taking a little part. Okay. Now. <coughs> See, I'm not a very big fan of applying eyeshadows over here, but sometime in order to give a clean look, we have to use some shadows from the eyeshadow palette. Like over here, I can find this this uh, white shade or creamy white shade. So I ju I'm just using this shade to clean the surface. That's it. I'm, I'm not a big fan of applying over here uh, big, uh, very sparkly eyeshadows. I'm just cleaning this with a flat Kylie brush. You can even use fingers, no worries. Like I'm making it simple for everyone, so you can use fingers uh, to apply this, and there's no worry. You can even blend it like this also. Like if you don't have Kylie brush or any flat brush, you can do it with the figure as well. So I'm almost done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to apply liner and mascara. <coughs> liner I might might skip because it's looking very nice. So I'll see whether I I would go for liner or not. I'm skipping liner so I can enhance my uh, eyelashes. So I'm using a thicker coat of mascara very quickly. It's 
so I'm done with mascara. I skipped liner, but one thing I want to apply, which is so so dear to my heart, the shimmers in this palette. So I'm going to apply this uh, first this shimmer color in purple, and then on top of that, I'm gonna go for this Cosmo glitter, which is which is my favorite, which is my darling glitter you can say so I'm very quickly apply this twilight color in front of you like very quickly I'm just packing it onto the center part of my lid see just give a little gradient and dimension into, onto my eyes that's it yeah see and with this uh, coral and purple mixture it's looking very 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 nice see you can see the difference between the two I'm not spreading this color all over my eyelid I'm just focusing the lid center lid part even I'm not disturbing my liner part also that coat liner jo maine oat se oat color hai kya hai usse maine liner lagaya see so I'm done with this and now I'm going to pack little bit of cosmo on top of that for that I'm using this uh, amazing amazing uh, NYX glue and I'm going to apply this glue on the brush first and then I, I, I'm going to show you how I'm going to apply. I'm taking a little bit of the glue on uh, at the back side of my hand making it little thinner because it's very intense and then I'm taking the brush and the color of the brush and this is mixed mixed together now I'm taking the Cosmo shade and then right in the center of my eyes see what I'm thinking I better spread it all over this is okay and I'm bringing it little specks of this glitter I'm bringing it over here also this is looking very pretty you can see I think my lighting effect is not supporting my makeup. It's looking very, very pretty. I'm taking a few more specks and then applying it. Yeah, that's it. Again, I'm taking the little bit of uh, next glitter. So I'm doing this off camera. This is looking so, so, so pretty. So I'm gonna clean all the fallout later on, but right now I'm just showing you the beautiful, beautiful eye look that I've created out of these two palettes. You can see. I'm, I'm obsessed to show the swatches of these two shades. One is Twilight, and second one is Cosmo. These are so beautiful. This one is Twilight, and this one is Cosmo. I'm gonna show you the swatch in my fingers also. See. One is Twilight and this one is Cosmo. Cosmo is very pretty, very lustrous glitter. See, this is so amazing. See the diamonds in it. So I forgot in the clip, so I'm just adding this clip separately. So now I'm going to clean all the fallouts. See, this much. This will again make a very sharp edge of the eyeshadow if you clean it like this. So that's what I'm doing and I will clean this way, this side also. Very quickly I'm using this compact powder. Yes. So I'm using Rivage powder, face powder in the shade 03. Okay. And for blush on, uh, I'm going to mix these two blush on because I don't want to go over the board. These are two. One is a peach blush and the other one is orgasm. So I'm going to make the mixture of these two and then apply it. I broke my blush on. Not blush on, the case of blush on. This is my favorite blush. Kya kya pati? Pati kya kya tumne? Allah, so sad. Anyways, okay, for highlighter, I'm going for this beautiful palette from Kat Von D, and the shade I'm using is uh, P. 
pink opal and this palette called called alchemist palette this is so iridescence how would you say this so many colors so it is uh, the one which i'm using is pink opal very quickly at the nose bridge of the nose over here and then over here very quickly okay jaldi jaldi wala jo hai na aana chahiye समटाइम आप हाइलाइटर लगाते हैं उससे आपका ब्लश ऑन जो है ना वो लाइट हो जाता है तो उसके लिए आप बाद में लाइट से लेके उसके ऊपर कर दें तो वो बहुत अच्छा सा इफेक्ट देता है मतलब थोड़ा सा ब्लश ऑन लेके बट ब्लश ऑन सटल होना चाहिए फिर आप ये सब कर सकते हैं और फिर भी अगर आप हाईलाइटर कम लगे तो आप थोड़ा सा ऊपर से और ले सकते हैं इसमें और भी शेड है लाइक इसका एक और पर्पल सा कलर है वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मैं यहाँ यूज़ कर लेती हूँ थोड़ा सा और मुझे लगेगा कि ज़्यादा है तो मैं हल्का सा इसको बफ कर दूँगी Okay, I'm done with for lipstick. I'm using these beautiful pair of uh, lip liner and lipstick, liquid lipstick from the Kat Von D line, Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in the shade Love Blonde. Both of the lip liner and the lipstick are in the shade Love Blonde. So I'm gonna give you the swatch. So this is Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner and Lipstick in the shade Love Craft. By mistake, I said Love Blonde. It's Love Craft. So these are the swatches of lipstick. The small one is for liner. I'm gonna show you. So this is liner, and the bigger swatch is lipstick. The same shade, but one is uh, liner, the other one is lipstick. So I'm going to use lip liner first, and then lipstick. These are very easy to apply, and never budge. See how beautiful this is looking. It's just a liner, very pretty. So I can fill up the entire lips with this liner, and then I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna apply um, lipstick. So same color in the lipstick. So this is very pretty plum or berry undertone nude. So I'm just. Going to so yeah. I love all Kat Von D stuff. So this is my second favorite after no third favorite after Huda. Second is Jeffree Star and the third one is uh, Kat Von D. So this is how it looks like. I'm gonna show you from the close as well. So. You can see the look of the lipstick and the light. It's looking very lovely, and my eyeshadows as well. See. <laughs>